Now, testing is a large part of the electronics development process, so we're here at Conrad Technologies to find out more. Their focus is on helping their customers during the research and development process and during manufacturing, covering everything from board testing through to environmental testing. So, um, Mr. Chattard, we're here at the Conrad's Conrad stand for Productronica 2023, and you're presenting here some new members of the Leon family. Maybe you could introduce the Leon family and explain what the special features are of your board testing system. Yeah. Also, the Leon family is really dedicated for us. So, in circuit tests, in system programming, boundary scan tests, functional tests, uh, and we have here so a complete platform based on our Abex platform. It's, uh, PXI, PXI Express, full hybrid chassis, and uh, with an addition of uh, analog measurement bus to combine all the measurement resources uh, to the matrix. So, and um, yeah, so we have here so a manual tester, so uh, for yeah, so medium and uh, low production uh, volume, and really so inline solution as well for a bigger. Uh, yeah, volume of production, yeah. So, and it's here fully automatic, so. Now obviously there's lots of competition in a market like this with competitors. Yeah. Um, what distinguishes the Leon platform from other board test systems that are on the market? I think is uh, to perform all the tests in the same platform with the same adapters and uh, fixtures. So uh, you can uh, use different level for the contacting, for ICT, and after that the other tests. And um, it's only one platform. It's uh, yeah, it's big sizes, open standards, and uh, yeah, so we can uh, we can perform all the tests in uh, in the same test sequence, um, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, really yep. yeah, super. Now, one of the things you mentioned was about the ABEX platform. Could yeah. you explain, explain a little bit more about what ABEX means? So ABEX is an analog bus extension for PXI. So, and it means so you can combine your measurement resource uh, to the analog bus, and the analog bus uh, yeah, is uh, through the complete uh, system, and you can take this measurement resource to each ma measurement matrix to measure every point here uh, on the PCB. In these terms, you have no anymore uh, uh, routing box between the tester and the fixture, you can dock direct your fixture on the tester. And it's uh, excellent things for the signal integrity. Now I notice here on the test system that we have in front of you that there's a pneumatic test adapter. Uh, does the system also support other types of test adapter? Uh, yeah, as, as a pneumatic uh, or vacuum uh, ad, uh, fixture, it's uh, when you have um, um, a big amount uh, from test probes and you need a help to contacting as only mechanically it doesn't work so if you have too many test probes huh, and you need uh, you need help yeah so with a pneumatic or, or vacuum but it's here as if you have less test probes here on a, on a fixture you can use an uh, a pure mechanical uh, fixture as it works yeah. now there are already inline handling cells on the market for testing printed circuit boards why has Conrad developed its own inline testing system with Leon inline? Um, because of the tester integration very near to the test probes uh, to ensure an excellent signal integrity. That's really the key. Yeah. And what are the other features that you'll bring into the market with Leon Bench and Leon inline in the coming year? Yeah, so we have uh, as well so integrated our vectorless test. Uh, it's a very important to, to test not accessible test points to ensure that the soldering is correctly done. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's like an antenna and a capacitive uh, measurement. Yeah, and it's uh, a really very interesting uh, option uh, due to the miniaturization of uh, the electronics and, uh, and the non-accessibility to every test points or every soldering point. So, so. So we've heard a lot here uh, about the ABEX technology mm -hmm. that helps people to work efficiently with their testing processes. Can you take us a little bit more detail as to what that actually means for your customers? Yeah, sure. I would like to give you a short introduction to the ABEX system itself. The ABEX stands for Analog Bus Extension for PXI. 
and peak size and industrial standard are pretty common there. And it's the main purpose is it's flexible and we have instrumentation cards. And the Apex is our own product. And we have developed an analog bus as an extension to the PXI itself. That gives us the advantage to route signals from one PXI card to the other one without any, any cabling. So this is the big strength. So we have the matrix cards. We can route the signals from the DUT to the DMM to another card. And that's for maintenance purpose and for signal conditioning the best solution that you can cho choose. Super. So Lauren Chattard, we have a challenge in our life. It's uh, not always the same temperature, not always the same humidity. Yeah. What impact do environmental conditions have on a product's functionality? Yeah, it's a real challenge. So uh, everybody knows that in, uh, in a car, you have a mobile phone, um, you have a diff uh, different uh, GPS system, and uh, yeah, something is not running anymore because it's too warm or too cold, or uh, it's too cold at the beginning, and uh, with your heating system, it's very hot, and uh, nothing is running anymore. So that's what uh, every supplier uh, wants to avoid. It's uh, really so very critical and uh, damageable for the trademark. Yeah. So what is it that Conrad Technologies offers then in order to test those environmental conditions for their product? Yeah, so we want to do this uh, in a different approach as a not to uh, cool down or to heat up uh, each device uh, only with uh, power and uh, bus communication. So we can here test uh, on PCBA level and we have access to all test pads from the device and we can measure not only if it's running or not, we can measure as well the behavior of the UUT and that's a very interesting point. So what are the lowest and highest temperatures that your system is designed for? Yeah, typically is uh, from uh, minus 40, minus 45 to uh, plus uh, 120 uh, Celsius. Yeah. And but it's, I think it's extendable as well. It's really depending on the size uh, from uh, what you have to eat up or to cool down and, uh, and the unit itself. Yeah. And if I understood correctly, it's then possible to access all of the test points over the entire temperature range that the yeah. customer is trying yeah. to test for. Yeah. So here it's uh, possible. Yeah. Um, obviously, one of the challenges with environmental testing is that heating process. It takes, can take a long time to heat up. Um, yeah. how, how long do we need to wait before the device under test can, say, reach 100 to uh, Celsius? Here is uh, it's very interesting because so, uh, we are creating here so dedicated so climatic, mini climatic chamber for the UUT. And uh, due to the volume of air we, uh, uh, we are pushing in, uh, in, the, in the chamber, we can uh, change the temperature uh, from our uh, thermal stream um, immediately. And the temperature uh, impact in air in, uh, in a climatic chamber is uh, around about so 10 seconds. Wow. Yeah, it's That's really good. amazing. It's almost a shock test. Yeah. yeah. So, what are sort of the key types of applications that people use this for testing and how, it, how can it be configured uh, for what sort of different environments and testing um, configurations can it be configured? Yeah, also uh, you, you can use it for uh, validation, for qualification from a device, uh, to, you can measure so, uh, um, the behavior. In this case, you will yeah, make some uh, functional tests uh, under temperature. Uh, hot, cold running test, uh, burning test, um, and every uh, other application. Also, you can, uh, as, yeah, you can take so, so and do a ma many different tests uh, under temperature. Yeah, so super. But, uh, well, Laurent Chatard, thank you so much for taking us through that process of thermal testing here, mm -hmm. and uh, be interesting to see the product in action in the future. Okay, thank you.